little buddy. You did great, little buddy. You did just great out there on Sunday. Despite all the mean things they said, you did fantastic. Didn't he, race fans? Yes, he did. Didn't he, race fans? Wasn't this Goodyear race tire great? I'm talking about the Martinsville tire, because there was a lot of hue and cry about the tire, about Goodyear pushing it a little too far at Martinsville and maybe having some issues, because we had problems at Bristol a couple weeks ago with the track not rubbering up. Oh my gosh, the tire's really bad, but the drivers are complaining, blah, 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 blah. But what happened on Sunday? You know what? What happened on Sunday. Didn't we have a pretty good race? It did rubber up, didn't it? It was this guy right here. Think about it. No, it was not coincidence. The Goodyear racing tire that gave it to us. Why? Because it actually started to rubber up the racetrack like we thought. It changed the racetrack. It changed how things were happening out there. And at different times, and made for comers and goers. It looked like different guys we're gonna win this race. Comers and goers in NASCAR racing. That was this guy right here. It looked like Clint Boyer was gonna win the race. Jeff Gordon was gonna win the race. Like Jimmy Johnson was gonna win. Looked like Denny Hamlin was gonna win the race. Dale Jr. Looked like Kyle Busch was gonna win. Come on. Dale Jr. Looked like Kevin Harvick was gonna win the race. He did. A lot of guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodyear brought us a good tire. Goodyear pushed it a little bit, didn't they? They did push it, but we had a better race because of it. That's what it's all about, because the race tire changed the track. So, our tire. So don't get too down on this guy. Let's give him credit. We got a great race on Sunday. Thanks to this guy. Thanks to this guy. Thanks to our friend. Your friend. Thank you. My friend. Goodyear race tire. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com.